fire alert increasing across Colorado. Take a look at this map showing the fire danger in Colorado right now. Low on the western slope, moderate to the east. By next Monday, the Rocky Mountain Area Coordination Center predicts all but the high country will be at high and even extreme risk for fire. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez live at Rocky Mountain Metropolitan Airport. Tyler, Colorado is now a top national firefighting priority. Tankers are already here. That's right, and it's a sight you don't normally see till May or June planes sitting on the tarmac. But of course, it's been an atypically dry month, and fire watchers tell me they are worried about the weekend. For the entire month of March to be this dry, uh, which it has been, is uh, very unusual. No matter how many digital maps fire meteorologist Tim Matthewson checks, all he sees are bad signs in red. By Sunday, we're starting to see some extremes pop up. In northeastern Colorado, a small accidental electrical spark triggered the Hartstrong fire. 24,000 acres burned Sunday into Monday, with two buildings totaled. This weekend will bring perfect fire conditions. Well, basically, all along the front range, anywhere from the high uh, to extreme category on Sunday. As the wind whips on Wednesday, one of only a handful of large firefighting air tankers in the southwestern U.S. now sits on standby in Colorado. We're starting to see a lot of fire activity, so we just want to make sure we have the resources here. Including Yuma County, we've had 15 large wildfires across the Rocky Mountain West in just the past two weeks. Air assets don't put fires out, firefighters do. However, they're a great tool, and if you put it, they have to be applied at the right time. So having this aircraft here with a quick response time is going to help those firefighters on the ground get those fires out. That's why both men are urging folks to reconsider any kind of open burn over the weekend. These planes simply can't fly if we get winds like what we saw Sunday in Yuma County, and that's exactly what we're expecting again. Live in Broomfield, Tyler Lopez, 7 News. All right, Tyler, thank